Venomancer. Hello, hello, guys. We are back for the second series. This is the game number one. Series between uh, Shopify Rebellion and OG. So, opening draft for the side of Shopify will be getting uh, Bloodseeker, Batrider. Meanwhile, OG naman. Early Timber, so. First pick Timber para sa side ng OG and then Venomancer afterwards. So, interesting approach para sa magkada ng team. Well, tignan natin if ever na may makukuha pa sila dito ng interesting heroes. As of now. Ten seconds remain. Waiting pa tayo dito sa ating second phase bannings. Marami na ba pang hero yung i-remove? Tig dalawa pa sila dito. It is Radiant Span. Ten seconds. Five seconds. So now for fifth band, I fourth band pani pala. Para sa Shopify Rebellion. It is Dio's ban. Still waiting pa rin naman tayo dito. And uh, that's gonna be Monkey King para sa kanilang uh, fourth hero to be banned out. Ten seconds to me to bound. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Radiance turn to pick. So for the third pick on Shopify Rebellion, still waiting for it. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Dyer's turn to pick. Khakis! Ten seconds. Five seconds. So surprising to see tech is still available and uh, Shopify will be able to pick it.
28 seconds remaining. Parehong naubos yung reserve time dito na magkabi ng team. Second phase pickings pa lang tayo. And uh, that's gonna be uh, Magnus for the side of OG. Another uh, popular hero. Yung makukuha nila dito. Universal hero. Same goes. Ten seconds. Five seconds remain. Radiant must choose. Juggernaut. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. It is Dyer's band. So after Juggernaut pick, Shopify Tito will be answering out with Beastmaster. I don't think this is gonna be a free jug game. Lalo na meron tayong dalawang spell that pierces through debuff immunity, Flaming Lasso, Primal Roar. So possible hindi siya ganun kaging okay yung Juggernaut. Even yung Rapture. Medyo problematic para sa Juggernaut. Siguro umaasa tayo dito sa mga big RP into Omni Slash, yung ganun. Yung nga maging uh, win condition. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds to back. Enchantress will be removed. And then Queen of Pain para sa OG. Last ban ang inaantay natin dito ngayon. 10 seconds. 5 seconds remain. Radiance turn to ban. And we'll be having more playing for the final ban. No Shopify Rebellion, up to them to decide kung sino yung pwede pa nalang ma-remove for their last hero. And that's gonna be Chen. <clears throat> so banning out Chen, OG for their last pick. Meron ba tayong magandang uh, hero dito? Support hero, at tayong uh, inahanap natin for OG. Uh, possible position 4. 10 seconds remain. And uh, who is it? Five seconds remain. If ever I na lang ng position four, position five, possible yung leech, grimstroke. I think uh, not a bad choice. Kahit ula naman sa daga ng combo dito with soul bind. Uh, maganda naman siguro yung inkswell for jug. Radiance turn to pick. Well, they'll be getting Rubik. For the side of OG. Shopping by the Bellion for the last pick this time. Uh, Pedding mid. Pedding off lane. Not sure yet kung ano magiging role ng bat rider dito. Pero time for them to decide. Kasi hindi ko kukulin nila dito remain. na hero. Baka hero ni Miracle yung inahanap nila. Yes, si Miracle to ng Nigma. Stand in siya ngayon sa Shopping by the Bellion. Kamis yung unang OG. Sila ano? Sila Moon. Uh, si Miracle. Sila sila tayo, diba? Nandito lahat to. Uh, nagkaroon sa reunion. Wala lang si Moon tsaka si Notail. So, that is Fly, Crit, Miracle, and then Notail, and then Moon. Sila yung first OG squad nun. Yes, boss. Si Seb to. Stand-in din siya for OG dahil uh, wala yung isang player nila. And Silencer, kukunin dito na Shopify Rebellion for their last pick. So, it's gonna be uh, Miracle's Bat Rider. Parang ngayon ko lang makikita magbabat rider si Miracle. Usually kapag nakikita natin nagbabat rider kasi sa Nigma, um, si ano eh, si, si, si ba yun? Dati nilang mid player, si Wii. 
siwi lagi nag-bat uh, rider. Parang hindi lagi kay May Rachel binibigay yung bat rider kapag sa Nigma Galaxy. So this time we'll be seeing him in action with his bat rider. Tingnan natin kung magiging effective ba to for this game. He's leaning up against Timberso for the middle lane matchup. Uh, this is going to be an interesting series. Bakit palaging may tech slots? Ah, uh, lakas siya sa lane. Yeah, Even sa team fights, uh, binago kasi siya. So maaga siyang nagiging effective yung nagkaroon na agad ng stun, yung blast off niya. Dati kasi yung tech is kailangan pa ng shard upgrade para magkaroon ng stun, yung blast off ngayon. No need na for shard, so mas naging effective siya early. Grabe na pa-provide niya sa lane stages and naging universal hero rin siya. So nagbe-benefit siya sa mga stats. Yun yun lang naman yung mga parang binago kay Tekis. Actually, maganda nga rin yung AGS upgrade niya ngayon. Well, uh, back to the game 1 natin dito para sa ating second series. Taman chill casting lang tayo guys if it's okay. Sino nalo sa Talon LGD? 1-1 boss. Yun ang nangyari. Tide lang sila ng Talon tsaka LGD. And here we have it. So, cameraman. Prepare for the boss. Ay, gumalaw ng cameraman natin. Madamot. Plague our enemies. Kasi English tayo na camera. Yes, boss. Uh, BO2 lang tayo. Tomorrow, ay, tomorrow tuloy. Sa, ano bang events, diba? Sa Friday, start na ng group stage number 2. So, sa group stage number 2, puro BO3 na yon Yung mga series natin doon. 4 series a day lang tayo. Sa, pagating ng uh, group stage 2. Dalawang, dalawang part kasi yung group stage natin. Then yung playoffs natin, 2 days lang. Hindi ko gusto yung format na itong Dream League. Well, uh, bounties will be secured. 2 for 2 lang naman nata tayo dito for the bounty runs. Or maybe 3. Yeah, 3 bounty runs secured para sa side ng OG. It yeah, has a good start, especially for mid heroes or kasi naman yung mga kailangan ng mga early consumable items. And lalamang naman dun yung OG. Well, for mid lane, back to stick and apong build para sa bat rider for the timber saw. Mara naman siya magic stick, he is ready. Prepared for this uh, kind of approach, nagagawin ng mga bat rider. Ooh, two denies already for the timber saw. So, pa pareho naman silang universal hero. Uh, Normalan lang naman between Rubik and Tekis. First, but secured para kay Taiga. Great! Hindi siya nakapag-pop ng Fairy Fire. Hindi niya in-expect na mamaburst siya agad doon ng Rubik. So, that was unexpected. To have that easy first blood para kay Taiga. Hindi ko magat yung fairy fire niya. <laughs> Charot. Then, parang uh, hindi niya lang natan siya siguro si Crit. Kala niya siguro mabubuhay pa siya. Hindi natin nakita eh. Kung paano yung nangyari. Lain ang tingin ng camera natin. 
Well, BZM. It's a level 2 bat rider. Medyo mas spike na rin yung uh, damage siya dito. Nagbibuild up na rin yung stick and napalm. Now, level 3 naman na yung uh, timber saw, which is a good thing. We have, we'll be having a point para sa kanyang reactive armor, I think. Class off. They're gonna wave from the Blade Fury no, in, the Yura, in the Yuragi. So, man lalaban naman sila dito with wild access. Yeah, Tiger needs to be careful. Bounce, which my Matriarch will prize. Middle lane, medyo okay yung nangyayari para kay BZM. Securing 8 denies already for the Timber so More on farming na yung mangyayari dito for this mid lane. So after getting level 6 siguro sa ating bat rider, dun na yung uh, pwedeng uh, magkaroon ng kill potential. Baka try ng uh, dumay pinis ni bat rider yung time na yun. Para kay BZM, medyo mahirap patayin yung bat rider. Pati kailangan niya ng plus 1 hero or kapag nag overextend lang siguro yung bat rider dun yung magiging doable. Good thing for the uh, timber, una siya mag level 6 compared to bat rider. Lamang siya ng denies. Ilan yung lamang niya dito? Uh, or okay, apat din na yung lamang niya up against uh, Miracle. So, una siya mag-level 6. Now, it's almost 4 minutes. 1-0 pa rin naman yung score. Ando pa rin naman tayo sa kill na first blood na nakuha ni Taiga. Sa so, may top lane kanina. Bottom lane action, the um, blood right will do connects. They have the blood grenade for the extra slow, but a skewer dragging out to a beautiful skewer for Seb. So support Magnus Palatay Dito, interesting. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Na support Magnus in Gagawin ng uh, OG. Favorite hero ni Seb, Magnus. 3 points na ng Sticky Napalm para kay Miracle. Di pa rin siya nagalagay dito na Firefly or Flame Break. A 1v1 situation between these two supports, Tekis and Rubik. Tamang normalan lang naman, Taiga dito yung lumalamang. And I don't know kung available yung lift ni Taiga. We'll be able to use the blast off. Available yung lift niya. Talagang di lang niya nakita dun yung Tekis. Now for Miracle, gonna drop the Firefly. Taiga dito will be helping out. Nakupo dito mama yung Timber Chain. BZM dito is falling low. He goes down in the hands of Miracle. So seizing that opportunity for Miracle to kill the Timber will be able to do it successfully. Sino yung bet ko dito? Na team? I don't know. Hangin ka na sila na cover pareho. Pwede ko mas okay yung magiging run na itong Shopify Rebellion. Parang kailangan lang talaga nila makuha yung place na nila with Miracle. Yun lang. Kailangan nilang ma-utilize pa nila magagamit lalo si Miracle dito. So I'm gonna go for Shopify Rebellion.
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer should look to their middle tower. Well, again, Miracle securing a kill. Actually, secret yung ako na last hit. Just two down for the side of OG. There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Seven minutes in, going eight. Three one yung score, still in favor of Shopify Rebellion. Yun ang ayara dito. Gira mga ganong kalakian yung advantage nila. Pero nagiging okay lang yung start nila dito for the early stages. Network wise, uh, Juggernaut sitting on top. So maganda pa rin naman yung nakukuha yung lane for the top lane. And uh, that's gonna be Miracle. Lurking on top. Bottom lane actions, Kira back over towards EZ. And he'll try and man up. Blood Rate Fuse trying to heal up, getting those last hits. But on this dash, will be available for Yuragi. With his rotation, gonna take out RTC with the Blade Fury as well. Gonna bring down Sly afterwards. So nicely done. And there goes BZM, swarming suddenly for the side of OG onto this bottom area. With 3 down in total for the side of Shopify Rebellion. In the turn, Venomancer lang naman yung namatay dun. So that was a good rotation for OG overall. This time, kailangan nila bumalik sa kanilang lane. Iniwan nila lahat ng lane nila para sa bottom team fight. So they pay off the match. Yeah, Juggernaut back on top lane this time. BCM, I'm Yuragi pala, sorry. Well, our TC is here. Rupture not yet available, but they have the Primal Roar into the Blood Drive. Try to TP out. Might be a too early for the Primal Roar. And Yuragi will be able to escape. Lasso. Nice timing to interrupt the timber chain. Blasso for the follow up control. And that's gonna be a kill secured for the bad rider. Seb, they know where he is. Pero mo dinama magahabal dito yung OG. Knowing na wala nari silang skill na yung babato. Regeneration rin nga palin para sa ating bad rider. So, not gonna be a big problem para sa ating lane. Mahabag region up palin naman siya. And for fly, he's been spotted out. Three heroes right here for side of OG. There's nowhere to run. That's gonna be a kill secured for the side of OG squad. 10 minutes in, even yung score, middle lane natin dito, Miracle will be tanking out the damage from the tower since meron pa naman siyang regeneration rune. Fortification finally comes out. Is it gonna be enough to actually defend this? Meron pa silang catapult dito. And uh, over to the tech, his proximity mines will be dropped. Securing the tower for them, but tech is just been spotted out. Same goes with Miracle, they have the lift control. Miracle Vito will be falling. Nice critical damage for Yuragi. Yung Blade Dance, Blade Dance ba tawag yeah, Blade Dance nag-proc bigla. Tamatay si Miracle. And sama mo na dun yung ating techies. Two down for the side of Shopify Rebellion. OG, looking good. Daw nabasagan sila ng tower dun. So uh, that's gonna be a map control given for Shopify. Dalawang tower na yung nakuha dito ng Shopify Rebellion. Meanwhile for OG, di pa nila nasisecure yung bottom lane. So more map control given for Shopify Rebellion. Much easier much easier for them to move around the map. Yun lang naman yun. May invade yung jungle dito ng OG. Pero tignan natin kung may utilize ba nila ito ng uh, maayos. They have Beastmaster, so I think madali lang yan. Alam natin, meron siyang uh, napaprovide na vision, yung Hawk. So pagdating sa map control, talagang dalamang dito yung Shopify Rebellion. Anyway, uh, we have some pause. Naka-disconnect dito si Taiga.
There goes the rupture. Blast off will be there. Team Bersadita. There's nowhere to run for him. But still. Okay, na matay na na siya. Alam mo, pa si BZM. So kill secured for Shopee Pirate Belgian and uh, on the top lane. Ito na yung sinasabi ko for Beastmaster. So bandali na mag-invade ng mga jungles. Like dominator nga pala yung Beastmaster dito. Hindi siya yung uh, typical beast na nakikita natin with Ags. So going for Helm of Overlord yung Beastmaster. But afterwards, pwede naman siya mag-agan yung self rip if he wants to. Talagang uh, pinaparatay sila dito yung Aura Given. And over to the Rubik, that was the training that he used for the Miracle, that's gonna be another kill secured. Ito sinasabi ko, ito yung mas effective na approach for Batrider. Hindi yung straight into Octarine ka, just casual boots lang. Ang hirap ng rotation mo eh. Having BOT early on for Batrider kapag ikaw yung mid lane, much better yun. Kung off lane ka, mas gusto ko yung Octarine core straight. Pag mid lane, dapat nag-BOT ka pa rin agad. Kasi yun ang best na ako nakakita ng uh, mid-bat mid rider tapos first item octa rin agad. Brown boots lang. Sobrang bagal tuloy ng game. Siya yung inaasahan na pwede mag-rotate around the map. So wala siyang BOT. Bagal na movement speed niya. Parang nagiging passive yung game para sa bat rider kapag gano'n yung itemization. Gets mo pa eh kapag offlane eh. Kasi gusto mo na talaga magstay sa lane eh, if you're a bat rider offlane. So getting octa rin, sobrang laking bagay na. Pinaka Vanguard Arcane Boots ka Talagang makaka stay lane ka eh Pero pag mid Mas importante yung mobility Kasi ikaw yung nakasahan sa rotate Well, speaking of mid That's gonna be Taiga again Spot it out Takes them down Radiance Middle Tower is under attack There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. The Radiant's so in 15 minutes the game natin dito, 8-7 in score, less than 1k for the side of OG. More on farming pa rin naman yung nangyayari. Global silence was committed, primal roar, flaming lasso onto the timber saw. Can they burst it down? BZM finally puts down. And that's the first kill for the side of Shopee Pilot Bellingwood. Can they continue? Taiga is running onto the Firefly on Miracle. Did you not see it? He's not going to get the Firefly. He's going to get the Firefly. He's going to get the access. So that's two down for the side of OG. Timber saw and Rubik. Again, they're the victims of the rotation that they're doing here in Shopee Pilot Bellingwood. Bellion. And they're building up their lead. 1k is the same here for Shopee. Hindi lang talaga nila mabipigilan yung Juggernaut dito. Ang ganda nang nangyari. I think gusto ko sa Jug, yung hindi na nagba-Battle Fury. Lalo na't, lalo na't meron kayong Magnus. Parang hindi mo na kailangan mag-Battle Fury talaga. Is. Go straight for those stats items. Much better yan para sa akin. Tapos yung Divisal Blade, isa rin yan. Na parang inisip ko okay talaga for Jug. Pwede ka mag-disperser, malaking bagay yung disperser for this game. Meron kang pang basic dispel sa Global Silence. If ever wala kang Manta Style, pwede mo lang gamitin yung disperser. Actually, pwede ka mag-very-very disperser. Sobrang base na movement speed mo. Kaya iniisip ko talaga, mas okay yung approach sa Juggernaut na walang Battle Fury. Like, straight into stats items na lang. Manta Style Diffusal. Kahit hindi siya ganun ka-Diffusal game, okay pa rin mag-Diffusal kasi meron ka ng next upgrade for Diffusal. Maganda na mga saints pati yung napapapay ng defuse. So anyway, uh, that's gonna be a small play for OG. Wala nga lang silang nga abutan dito. Sinasama na lang Juggernaut with Manta Style available already. I think going for Lincoln and Jug. Kaya meron siyang uh, por kana? Corno Coop. Yeah ba yan? Radiant's bottom tower is in danger. Pang Lincoln's niya hata ito. Sabay pinang Battle Fury pa rin. So, para kay Seb, uh, he does have Blink. Tranquil Boots, same goes. Available na rin naman na para sa Magnus. 
And now, what's gonna be their plan? Yeah, tamang empower lang, buff lang ng buff sa Juggernaut. Make sure na mapag farm siya dito ng uh, mas pabilis. Sige lang yun eh. At talagang binabuff lang naman nila dito yung Juggernaut. And then siya yung uh, mag talaga ng damage up against Shopee Parabell. Roshan attempt is gonna be successful. Even though they have Aegis for Shopify the Belgian, they still need to be careful about RP. No Magnus. Taiga Dita will be able to TP out back to safety. Take a sure, but you mabot yung primal roar na wala ba siya ng fusion. We're not asking. So I don't know what happened. Bottom lane, more objective to secure, put us aside and shot the fight rebellion. Then I can pop the Firefly, lane break, won't be uh, catching anybody, it's aside now OG. Back on farming lang sa magkabilang team siguro. Well, for Shopee for Rebellion, at least yung pinafarm nila dito is yung mga resources for OG. Okay, yung gusto nang mangyari. This time, OG will be smoking up. Running towards middle lane. Isolated dito yung mga heroes for Shopee for Rebellion. This might be good. If they could start the fight and kill Miracle on mid, malaking bagay na yun. But they, need to, need, they need to be aware na meron pa rin tayong global silence. So... Pwede silang ma-interrupt sa gagawin nilang initiation And there goes Shopify Rebellion Siguro nagkatakas na dito, wala nang defend for top, for bottom lane So they might have an idea on what's going on Seb, oh, nagkakitaan pa nga sila ng Bat Rider Well, both will be blinking out and BZM dito showing on bottom lane So time for them to disengage sa may middle lane section Nakuha naman na nila yung middle lane towers, I think that's good enough Already for the set of OG Backing off, back on farming Give the power to Jug. So speaking of Jug, mayro na ba siyang Diffusal Blade? Yep, it is up. And it's going for Skadi. Talagang wala pa rin siyang ginagawa sa kanyang Cornucopia. Mga hindi pa rin siya worried na kailangan niya na mag Lincoln Sphere. Dyer's courier has been killed. Each brave career knows the risks. Rupture. TP out. Be successful. Bumalik ulit si Seb. Uh, stand in lang ulit boss. Kasi wala yung isang player ng OG. So nag stand in muna siya dito sa OG ulit. Well, Miracle, not gonna be on point to kind of flame break. Same goes with the Chakra. Global Silence, TP out for Miracle. Ayun lang, ginamit. Ay, hindi ko sure kung ano nangyari, kung nauna ba yung Lotus Orb. Ay, hindi. Actually, tanggal ng Team Verso eh, Global Silence eh. Madi siya yung ginawa eh. Dapat ang ni Lotus Orb niya, yung Rubik, para malift si Miracle. Ginamit niya yung Lotus Orb sa sarili niya After ng Global Silence So Yeah, I mean uh, Medyo nawala sa isip lang siguro na BZM 
na ang kailangan nila is yung stun. Kung nila out-start yung Rubik ng time na yun, then possible pang ma huli si Mira kaya may trap in teleportation. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Well, there goes Miracle, but they have the quick lift from Rubik. Thomas Dash will be slicing them apart, but nobody will die for the side of Shopify Rebellion. Grit is out position. After killing the Venomancer, he'll pay for his life because of this. So, one for one trade in favor of Shopify still. And surprising to see. Sticky Napon pa rin yung nakuha din ng Rubik. Kala ko Flaming Lasso na. So, nakapag Sticky Napon pa rin si Miracle after using Flaming Lasso. Talagang aware siya. Na anytime, pwedeng uh, andan yung Rubik, pwedeng makuha ng uh, skill. So, kapag flaming lasso niya, dinadap agad niya yung stick and a -pong. Yep, lift again. But with Octarine, the Bat Rider, so bram bilis ng cooldown ng Flaming Lasso. 40 seconds. The cooldown lang ng Flaming Lasso. Ang bilis. Fear up para sa Juggernaut. I'll take that as tribute. Scanning for enemy. A four-month smoke play for OG this time around. Miracle Dito will be disengaging. Ginamit na na yung Twins Gate. And uh, wala na mga abutan dito yung uh, OG. Juggernaut will be uh, farming top lane. Peacemaster tipping on middle. So tamang iwasan mo na ulit para sa magkabilang team. Radiance top tower is under attack. Radiance top tower is under attack. Play gorge, play gorge down. Goes the flaming lasso over to Rubik. Down he goes. Is a pickup for the side of Shabby Pot Rebellion, but uh, support hero lang naman yun. Not much a big deal for the side of OG. They're, that's their position 5 hero. And for the Juggernaut with the wraparound play, on his dash, getting stolen by Saber Light. Saber Light Dito will be taken up. Now the skewer back, RP. Will he, will he use it? Nope, I don't think so. 
Blast off will be dodged by the, fl with the uh, Blade Fury, you know what they're struggling at. And there goes the Flaming Lasso once again, coming up from Miracle. That's not the Arcane Room. So that's why, na available ulit yung kanyang Flaming Lasso. Ganun pala yung sakit pala yung oras na nakalipas. And that's two down. Nadamay pa nga yung Timber Saw. Lyft will be there, catching out Miracle. Ganun silang Stolen Doctor. He'll pop his BKB. And there goes the Glimmering Cape. will be able to protect him. Face Bolt, not gonna be enough to kill him. In fact, Pagadito is gonna be in big trouble. Well, still alive for now. But Blast Up coming in. Paga goes down. Except he bought back for this. He can afford to die once again. But they have the Sneaky Bomb over to the Juggernaut. And now the Flaming Lasso for the third time around. One single fight. Tatlong Flaming Lasso yung nagamit ni Miracle. Ganong kabilis yung cooldown. Dahil sa Arcane Dune and Octarine Core. And they're not even done yet. They're going for the next one. Much easier target will be whom? They wanted both. They're trying to kill the Magnus, the same goes to the Venomancer at the same time, they'll be able to do it. Shopify the Bell and 9k lead already, what a way for them to win that fight. Tatlong flaming lasso yung nagawa ng Batrider. Shut up. Power secured, and for Shopify Rebellion, they will continue. Fresh Aegis and Cheese available to Shopify Rebellion. For the Beast Master, he can afford to get out of position that time. Malaking uh, bagay din yung Beast sa team fight, especially Primal Roar. At ang check para sa boss. Kung wala pa naman mga yan. And uh, Mjolnir Manta style basher para sa Bloodseeker. Dark may yasha na nga dito yung Bat Rider going for Manta style. Interesting. And that's it. Wala naman interesting item. Agad yung Suffer para sa Venomancer. For Juggernaut is going for Nullify. In, but a quick lift from Taiga will be able to stop him, pass the Beaky bit this time, and Miracle will be able to back off. So disengage lang muna for Shabby Rebellion. That was a blind attempt para kay Miracle to catch someone. Nadya mahirap kapag wala ka vision over to your opponent. So since nagamit na yung Global Silence, 
much better na antay na lang siguro ulit to ng Shopify level again. But for OG, knowing the advantage to for their side, they'll be smoking up. But can they catch someone? That's the biggest question. So masabog na yung proximity mine. So they have an idea for the RP coming in. Single target lang naman tayo dito. That's gonna be a beast master. Fever like dito getting off the slash by the juggernaut. Gonna pop the cheese. Do survive through all of that. And may be able to take out Tiger first with Miracle killing him. On to the next one. BZM got ruptured. There's nowhere to run for the timber. So the three down, two down for the side of OG already. Now without Omni Slash from Jark, this is gonna be a hard fight for them to take. Time out or not available now for the Light, but they are ready to push. Bottom set of racks. Here they go. OG. Without RP, without Omni Slash. I don't think they might be able to hold this, but they will try. With the Track Wimsky will play. Dragging out Saber Light. Saber Light will be the first one to fall. RTC Dito, well, nice psychic headband to push him back. Pero magahabul pa rin naman si RTC with the quick dash over to Yuragi. Gonna finish him off in time. Down for 60 seconds for the Juggernaut. There goes a flaming lasso. They do catch Venomancer. Venomancer Dito. He goes down. Does have the Agony Scepter. So, and then poison now. After falling. But a poor Miracle. They're looking for the next one. Primal Roar used. Lotus Orb will be able to return this. Stolen Primal Roar. But I guess that's going to be another stun coming up from OG. And will be able to take out Miracle just in time. Down for 80 seconds. Global Silence. A bit too late for them. To win to uh, help out his teammates and create spot it out. Mapag TP out pa rin naman. Successful. It's a nice recovery for OG. But they still need more. Dahil uh, sobrang laki pa rin ng kalamangan dito ng Shopify Rebellion. Napaganda yun. Dalawang primal or body yung nangyari para sa side ng OG. So, 5 and smoke play for Shopify. Wala silang aabutan. 
most likely uh, waiting for next Roshan. Unfortunately, 2 minutes and 30 seconds yung added time sa Roshan. So, medyo matagal-tagal dapat ito para sa Shopify Rebellion. OG might be expecting this one. And uh, it's gonna be Yuragi. In front, Blade Fury use. Trying to kill the Golem. Medyo mahirap. Rupture. Okay, yeah, na-return naman yung Rupture ng Lotus Roar. And that's about it. Meron pa rin tayong Primal Roar for the side of OG. They want to take advantage of this. Pwede sila mag-start yung teamfight. Pwede sila mang huli dito. DM. Just trying to be brave. Going in front. Providing the vision for his team with his play guards. Miracle dito is on the side lane. Looking for someone who is isolated for the side of OG. Tamang ingat pa rin sa magkabilang team. Lubik dito. Still available yung Primal Roar. I think for one minute lang to available. Then mag-expire na. So, uh, hinahanapan pa rin naman ng OG dito yung opportunity to use this one. Malaking bagay itong Primal Roar eh, sa Lubik. Ang tagal pa ng stun nito. So, wala ito nagang Roshan pa eh. So, hindi nila mapaforce yung teamfight dito. For Shopping by Rebellion. They are happy to try and wait. Para lang uh, mawala na dito yung Primal Roar ng Rubik. Here for items is available. Sending out the illusions para kay Miracle. Scouting out the Roche Pit area. So alam naman nilang wala pa rin naman Roshan since meron din silang Hawk. Thirty-nine minutes in, timeless relic. Mao ko naman ng Venomancer. So still, a ten k lead for Shopify Rebellion. Roshan finally available. Oh, sorry, nagalaw ko yung. Natin. I mean, it's almost daytime. Dilipat na si Roshan dito ng uh, area. And uh, ito lang, RTC dito knows he can't kill the Rosh in turn seconds. So, uh, TPing on the bottom lane. Agad-agad. Para sa side in Shopify Rebellion. Now, for OG, they are in position. Gonna surprise the tech hits. So, the Global Science does come in with Flaming Lasso coming up from Miracle. With the Omni Statue, will be able to bounce him back over to the Batrider. Batrider goes down. Even if he bought back, he doesn't have any BOT. To join this fight once more, but they will use it. Walking straight onto the bot lane, the Prime Roar will be used, catching up the Juggernaut to burst your damage. There won't be, they have the Abyssal Blade, but we will return onto our tour thanks to the Lotus Orb. And now for the Juggernaut, he'll be able to claim him. There's so a multiple heroes down for the side of Shopify Rebellion, and it is OG bouncing back to this game. 4k advantage suddenly for OG, and they might be able to get more. Getting this Roshan for the next objective. Sobrang ganda na nakuha ng OG doon. Daytime Rosh. So we have Aghanim's Blessing. Give it to Juggernaut. Well, Roshan, mahal mahal ko wala man dito na sabi para daw. There we have it. Age is secured. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom 
Tier 2 secured. Oh, Jadita will be continuing to push. Disperser available na rin para sa Juggernaut. So 43 minutes in. And it's 10k lead for the side of OG. Lift over to the tech. His on the is bouncing in. Dragadito claims the kill. Tech is down for 90 seconds. That was a quick one. And for Miracle, well, on the integration leader. I'll be looking to BZM. Fat of Vice. Starting uh, Ancient Crit. Saving Lasso for Miracle. Can he kill BZM? Double flaming that he used still not gonna be enough to kill him in time. So pops the global silence. Miracle Dita will be backing off. I think she's gonna be able to kill Miracle yung magiging damage niya against Timber. So, but I won't be able Dying, ano? Healing Lotus not available. Ah. Pansin nyo bumaba yung mga ganyan Pahang lang sa oras yung ganyan Smoke play for the side of OG Tingnan natin Well approaching the middle lane tower Flame break Pushing back Yuragi Available pa rin naman yung Aegis Tito For 40 more seconds Blade Fury will be used Finally, third tower on mid lane will be destroyed. Going for the set of tracks on middle. Wala pa rin magawa dito yung Chavi for Rebellion. Hindi nila pwedeng basta-basta gawin lang yung Juggernaut na merong Aegis. For Yuragi, ano ba? Okay, kala ko, papapatay na lang siya. Aegis na lang siya. Carbon smoke play for Shopify Rebellion. Here they go. Knowing na wala nang ages for the Juggernaut. Kailangan nila makakuha dito. Makapag-initiate ng uh, maayos. Hindi ko sure kung sino yung dapat maging target. Might be Magnus or Jarg kung kaya nila pa-burst down. 
Pinnacle Magnus is much better. Kanan with a hard because of the fight. And now that's gonna be Bloodseeker spotted out. Side of Vice, Omni Slash will be bouncing in towards. So they're not gonna be enough to finish off here. Um, it's a Bloodseeker. But they have the RP for the follow up control with the Flame Break. Lasso, Blood Red coming in. RTC goes down finally, down for 90 seconds. It's over to Miracle on the back line. He's trying his best to create some uh, space for his teammates. But he'll fall because of this. That's two down for the side of Shopify Rebellion. Double kill secured by Yuragi. Saber Light, gonna send out his boar. Not gonna able to help that much. We'll be looking to cut the waves, maybe on the middle or possible sa top lane. Mag uh, split na lang dito yung Beastmaster without Bat Rider for 100 seconds. Masyado malabong ba depends on the Shopify for the Bell one. And uh, with Bloodseeker, he does have his buyback. Pero up against 5 heroes ng OG, what can they do? No fortification left. Tier 4 towers getting destroyed. Buyback for the Bloodseeker. Last off, here we go. Starting the fight for them. Not gonna be enough. Actually, Sweet Lash available man for the Jog to take him out. With down for 60 seconds. And Timber Saw will be just zoning them out. Primal Roar will do bounce back with the Lotus Orb. Chakram, Timber Chain, Dodge Right, RTC Tito. Can't find any target with a Skewer play from Sev. Oh god, it's not And that's gonna be RTC down. Same goes with the rest of his team. And GG. I think it's over. I don't know what GG is Multiple buybacks used by the side of Shopify Rebellion. And then, Bat Rider, Flaming Lasso, Venomancer taking out. Buyback immediately for the side. For the Venomancer, I don't know. I'm going to switch on the buyback here. Yuragi here with the Blade Fury. Healing up with his life steal. Blade Dance. He's got his talent here. And still Ancient still alive for BZM. He's dropping low. Blades of Wisdom building up the damage. But there goes Yuragi. Slicing up Creep. And now over to the Beastmaster. Same goes with Fly. Blade Fury comes in. Takes out Fly. Beastmaster Tito. Same goes. That's 4 hero dead. And the RP catches Miracle with the Omni Slush again. 5 down for the side of Shadow Brother Valley. That's it. What a comeback for OG para sa ating uh, Game 1 in second series natin. Well, doon nag-start yun talaga sa may uh, bottom lane. Yung uh, sa may Roshan. Ang ganda yung pagkakap position ng OG. Na-anticipate nila na aabot ng daytime yung Rosh na pinag-aagawa nila yung third Roshan. Nakapwesto sila agad doon sa may uh, Wisdom Gate. Ay, sa Twins Gate. Pardon. Sa Twins Gate, sorry. Then, by the time na nagtitipian yung Shopify Rebellion, in position sila, meron silang vision, nasa high ground sila, naunahan agad na yung Shopify Rebellion, and uh, wala naging follow-up for Shopify. Even if they use their buybacks, walk trip yung Shopify eh. Kasi ginamit nila yung mga TP nila eh, papunta doon sa outpost. Ayun yung nangyari. Nag-buyback si Miracle, nag-buyback si Creed, pero wala silang magawa. Since di naman sila mga kabakap agad, sobrang layo nila. From base, kailangan nila lakarin, papunta doon sa outpost sa may bottom lane. So OG claiming game one of the best of three series. I'm gonna break tire for the game number two. Best of two, pala sorry. Uh, break tire for the game number two after the short break. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and be right back, tire.